This is Jackie Helvey and I'm here at Blue Dogwood, which is a food co-op over here in Chapel Hill. Uh, is it 306 Franklin? 306 West, West Franklin, Franklin Street, yeah. Um, Sweet G as in George. Sweet G, it's back here at the back. Uh, you old timers probably remember this as the old Fowler's grocery store from years ago. But now it's totally different and this is Chef Eric. Eric, what's your last name? Uh, Jai. N-D-I-A-Y-E. It's a okay. very difficult name to pronounce. I knew I wouldn't be able to, so I'm just going to call you Eric. Eric. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yep. So what's the name of your business, Eric? The name of my business is Bouquet Garni Foods and Catering. Okay, and you, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, um, my background, uh, I was born in Senegal, in, uh, which is in West Africa and I uh, was raised there up uh, till the age of uh, high school. Mm -hmm. So after high school I uh, moved to France uh, where I uh, continued my uh, studies and I was uh, in uh, hotel and uh, restaurant management. Mm -hmm. So what made you decide then to go into uh, food. I mean, I know you had the training in restaurant management, but food is a different yeah. thing than. Well, uh, my my minor was in restaurant, so I had oh, to okay. do a lot of. Uh, uh, I had to be in the kitchen a lot. Right. Uh, and that's how I uh, got the bug. But prior to that, uh, my dad had noticed that I had a an inclining of uh, cooking and all that. I, I would help him. He would do a lot of uh, getting together uh, with family members and uh, in his line of work. So uh, I would be very active helping him. So I, I knew. Uh, so you learned a lot from him. I, I learned a lot from him. And then my mom also, when I, while I was in Senegal, my mom used to have a restaurant as well. Oh. So so I uh, uh, caught the bug uh, just through that as well. Mm -hmm. So after I moved to France, I went to uh, hotel school and then I uh, got my degree and my dad uh, suggested that I uh, continue in the same field and decided to send me here in uh, Ithaca, New York. Uh, a place called uh, Cornell University, uh -huh. which happened to have a uh, very good uh, hospitality management. I went there and did a couple of semesters. Uh, long story short, uh, the funds dried out and I uh, ended up uh, in uh, New York City doing just ad jobs uh, with some uh, French chef that I had connected with and really that's where my uh, uh, career in the food business uh, started. So once you started, did, were you like a, like a sous chef? Did you learn the sous chef part of it first or how um, did that go? No, I was, I was a, a line cook. I remember I was a line cook and oh, okay. I was just doing uh, odd jobs, uh, uh, you know, uh, helping out some uh, French chef that I had known. In, in, uh, in New York City. So you know both French cooking and African cooking, right? Yeah, I would say Senegalese cooking, uh, uh, particularly Senegalese cooking. I know some other African dishes because I've lived some other parts of Africa because my dad used to travel a lot and take us uh, wherever he uh, went. So, uh, but primarily uh, my uh, focus was on uh, Senegalese food and French food. So, um, I was looking at your menu, it's so diverse and, and it's so foreign to me. I've never heard any of the items. Name a few things that you have on your menu here. Well, um, I do a, um, a curry uh, chicken salad that's really one of my uh, number one sellers, uh, everybody that... That's because uh, everybody knows what it is, right? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Um, uh, but uh, I do also an, uh, a, a small appetizer called uh, 
uh, curry cauliflower, roasted curry cauliflower. Now that Matter one fact, I knew. I'm, I'm about to do uh, some right now. Oh, that sounds good. Um, but but to to back uh, back up a little bit, I um, after I finished uh, after I was in New York, mm -hmm. I ended up moving to California, where my mom was living at the time. Okay. So she uh, convinced me to leave New York because uh, for her New York was just uh, too much and too hectic and I finally decided to go join her in California in Sacramento. Now was she, did she continue her restaurant touring in uh, California? No, no, no she did okay. not, no. She, she had gotten uh, tired of it and uh, you know decided to uh, give it up. She, uh, her husband was in the military and all that, and they ended up moving to uh, Sacramento in California. Okay. So once I joined her in Sacramento, California, I got hired by a company at the time that was called Cater Air, and they were doing putting food on the airplanes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I got hired as a chef in Sacramento, uh, working for Cater Air, and I that was in uh, 1994, I believe. So, and I've worked for them uh, for the last 20 something years. Wow, so uh, did you travel around in that or did, were you yes, based I, in? Yes, I did travel a lot. Uh, uh -huh. You know, I was handling uh, different accounts and, uh, you know, uh, we would have uh, menu meetings in different areas of, uh, of, uh, of the country. So you probably learned a lot just from that too about tra when you traveled around and tasted food in Absolutely. different places. Absolutely. I learned a lot. I mean, uh, uh, airline food tends to get the bad rap, uh, but uh, you'll be amazed we do a lot of uh, uh, good, good cuisine uh, for, for first class. Uh, and also for different uh, foreign airlines, like Saudi Airlines, right. uh, uh, the European airline. We used to handle all the airlines, uh, international airlines, as well as domestic airlines. So, mm -hmm. so I got to learn a lot also just doing recipes for uh, uh, international airlines. Nice. Now let's get back to your menu here. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> well, the, the, my menu is basically tied up to the name of my business, uh -huh. which is Bouquet Garni. If, if you, uh, I don't know if you know about it, but Bouquet Garni is a French. Bouquet Garni means basically a, a bunch of uh, uh, spices and herbs that you can tie together to put in soups or uh, to uh, season your sauces. Okay. So for me, uh, it was a combination uh, of uh, Senegalese cuisine and whatever else I've learned through my career, uh, going from French to uh, American cuisine, all tied up together. Wow, that's so great. So it's, it's really a fusion of, of different flavors all together. Uh, of course, uh, uh, some of my main courses are mainly Senegalese. Mm -hmm. uh, like what? Like uh, uh, a typical dish of Senegal is called yassa. Mm -hmm. Very well known throughout uh, uh, the West Africa region. Mm -hmm. There's also uh, another dish called uh, jollof rice. Uh, and uh, you have it also in Ghana. And in Nigeria, you'll, you'll hear that expression, jollof rice. Mm -hmm. And it's basically the, the wars of the jollof rices. Everybody thinks that their rice is, is better than, than the other ones. Like barbecue in North, Car North and South exactly, Carolina. <laughs> exactly. But, but jollof rice, uh, mainly there's a dish that's called chebujan in Senegal. And it's made out of uh, uh, fish and jollof rice and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you go to Senegal, 99% of the population will make that dish at noon time. Right. You know, so uh, Senegalese cuisine is very rich, uh, and I'm barely scratching the surface 
with the main courses, the four main par courses that I have on the menu. Mm -hmm. Now I uh, wanted to infuse a little bit of uh, something international by uh, adding, for example, my curry coconut chicken salad, mm -hmm. I, uh, as well as my roasted curry cauliflower that is served with a pistachio dressing. Oh, that you sounds know, good. You will not find that in Senegal, but uh, I've, I've, through, throughout my career, I've come in contact with a lot of uh, other different uh, uh, cuisines that I, uh, I have adopted on my menu. Well, that's great. Yes. Now, tell folks about um, your hours here. When are you open here? Okay, the hours are kind of uh, a little bit uh, confusing, but uh, this the Blue Dogwood is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay. So I am also closed on those days. Right. Uh, and because it's a commissary kitchen, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, outside people that rent the space and do their own things. Mm -hmm. But uh, I am open Wednesdays through Fridays from noon to 8 p.m. Okay. And then on Saturday, I'm open a little bit late at 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Go ahead. 8 p.m. to 3 p.m. I mean, uh, the reverse. 3 yeah. p.m. to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I also, in addition to uh, operating uh, the Bouquet Garni here at the Blue Dogwood, I do the farmer's market in Durham, uh, South Durham. I mean, uh, downtown Durham. So you sell at the farmer's market? I, I sell oh, uh, at the farmer's market. What do you uh, sell? Basically, uh, I sell kind of the same uh, items that are on my menu, oh. but I have uh, the liberty of uh, introducing all kinds of uh, other stuff as you well. You can kind of try stuff out over there, Exactly. Huh? Uh, you know, last week I had some mac and cheese, I had some barbecue chicken and things like that. You're getting too Americanized, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> well, I've been living here for the last 30 something years, so it, it uh, kind of bleeds on me a little bit, you know. And how long have you been open here at Blue Dog Lake? Uh, our, uh, uh, I've been open since December. Okay, not very long. Not then. very long. Gosh. It's been barely two, three months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So how is it going? Okay, or it's probably slow. I well, bet. it's been it's been very slow. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but now that the weather is uh, getting much nicer, it's sunny outside. Uh, today we had a very decent uh, lunch uh, lunch time. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, it's been great talking to you, and I'm sure that you're gonna gonna do great here because your items are so unique i mean you can't get them anywhere so. well yeah that's what we hope to do uh introducing uh senegalese food as well as uh different uh, type of cuisine international cuisine to the uh, chapel hill area fantastic yeah we, well, we do a lot of catering i just finished, oh you do catering yeah also. we do catering as well and um, i just finished doing a uh, cooking demo for uh, Chapel Hill students. Uh, oh, you know, nice. So uh, that was fun over the weekend. And um, we had also some uh, catering done for uh, a group of uh, an international friends uh, association out of uh, uh, NC uh, State. You know. Oh, and what's your website address? Uh, website is uh, bouquetgarnifoods.com. That's B O U Q E Q U E T. Like a bouquet of flowers. Right. G A R N I. Uh, yes. And then foods.com. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very it's much. It's been great talking to yep. you. Yep. And you can also check us on our Instagram at bouquetgarnifoods.com. Okay. Thanks.